So, in my last video, you might have seen that I used the new Photoshop AI feature to make some fun changes to some Star Citizen ships. The aim was to change their style or their in-game role where possible, whilst just having a laugh with it. After going through your comments from that video, I have picked some winning names for those mutated ships. So we have the Scavenger for the Mutated Vulture and the Pinner for the Mutated Herald. Thank you again for your suggestions. Now, today we are back and we'll be having some more fun with the ships that you have requested in the comments from last time. Whilst we are on that topic, however, the comments from the last video were mostly positive. Shout out to my Firefly and Serenity lovers. I see you, you are my people, and I love the fact that you found my channel. Amazing. But there was one or two negative comments about the use of AI on other people's work. Let me just clear this up right now. These videos are purely for entertainment purposes only, and I do not in any way claim to be an artist or the original creator of these images, obviously. I can barely draw a stick man. I can't even do that right. Oh, camera, where are you going, pal? No, oh, it's face tracking to my, my stick man. Turns out it's a brilliant stick man. I do completely understand, however, why people do not like AI bashing, as this person has called it in this comment here, when someone is using it to steal other people's work and claim it to be their own, etc. However, that's not at all what this is. I clearly state, if anything, that I make these ships a thousand times worse than the originals. Also, AI is just part of the world. We have to get used to it. It's not going anywhere. You just got to build a bridge and get over it. It just is what it is. Try and find the positives even in the negatives in life. Otherwise, you're just going to be miserable. Anyways, for the rest of you that did enjoy it, let's talk about the ships we're looking at today. The Corsair, the MSR, the 85X and the Apollo. If you commented last time, do not worry, your requested ship will be in a future video. But keep on commenting more suggestions down below and don't forget to give me your ship name suggestions for today's ships. And lastly, don't forget that there is another Star Citizen ship game package giveaway happening this month, but more on that later in the video. Sound good? Let's get into it. So, let's get started with the Drake Corsair. This is a super interesting ship, it was very popular when it came out due to its firepower and its unique design. Now it is designed as a piracy vessel, as I'm sure you're aware if you know anything about Star Citizen, but I feel like we can maybe change it around a little bit. So first thing is first, I kind of want to centralize the image uh, as we normally do to give us a bit more room to work with. So I'm going to just place this here and there we go. Oh, we even added the sort of wind lines from the engine, sort of the trails. That's cool. Do you know what would be quite interesting? Maybe adding a third wing. We've already got two. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's do this. Let's, let's do this. There we go. That one looks quite good. Do you know what I'd love, actually? You know, like those rocket trucks that have a big, like, bucket of rockets? And let's type in rockets and see what it does. Oh, <laughs> it's, put like a, it's put like a space shuttle on there. Oh, what is going on? Do you know what? I just, I completely forgot that I don't, I, I want to demilitarize this, don't I? I don't want it to be piracy. I want it to be something completely different. What about a big net? Maybe this is like, a, imagine, imagine, picture this. It's t a thousand years in the future. And on Daymar, which is where I assume this picture is taken, there are big flying space bugs. They're pets that have escaped the people's houses on Daymar. And we are pet control. We are going after these people's loose alien flying pets. So we need a big net. That's what we need, a big net. Oh, it's put me on the internet. No, <laughs> no. Okay, here we go. We're getting there now. That looks a bit better. It looks like a football goal sitting on top, but that's kind of that's kind of what I want. Imagine it like a mouse trap, and it springs forward. So as you get close, it slams down onto this part of the ship here. If we're hunting animals, we need tranquilizer darts, like big, big tranquilizer darts, right? So here's the little hole for it to shoot, and here they're all loaded in. So imagine this is like a little. What I was thinking is pest control. Always have like one of those big like nozzle canister things. You know the things that they have, the, the spray gun, the spray guns. <laughs> They've just put a massive hose nozzle on it. <laughs> that, is, that is so good. Look how cool it makes the front of the ship look with the, with the sort of the spherical look. This is the pet now the pest control vessel. I think I feel like once we've if we don't catch them with the net, if we don't tranquilize them, if, we, if, the, if the spray nozzle doesn't knock them out, then what we need is two hands. <laughs> Look at the wrinkles. So it grabs it into the net, 
slams it down. I think we need like a bucket here now, don't we? Like an actual little capture zone. There we go. That is spot on. And there we go. This is what we started with, the Drake Corsair. And this is what we ended with. Let, let me know in the comments below. I'm not good with names. You need to name this. This is our pest control vessel. This will still probably fly better in an atmosphere. Let's be honest. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so next up, let's jump straight into the Crusader Mercury Star Runner. Now, the MSR has always kind of given me uh, Mass Effect Normandy vibes, sort of similar to this because I think all the Crusader ships kind of have that look, similar to even the Spirit that's coming out, well, hopefully coming out later this year. So I'd quite like to have that sort of Normandy look to it. So I thought we'd start off with a couple of spiky prongs, kind of similar to what we did with the Vulture last time, but not so much blades, more like battering rams. Yeah, like that. And then on the Normandy, they're on either side of the cockpit. Yeah, like this. Exactly like that. So it kind of reminds it's starting to look a bit like an alien. It's, it's starting to look like that creature from the Godzilla movies. That is not what I intended, but I actually really like that sort of it, it sticks true to the Mercury Star Runner like paint scheme of the red and it's like a dipped roof. I, that is a that is a very, very, very happy accident. I like that. Shall we can we try and do this all the way along? Yeah, there we go. That is fantastic. I don't know what it is. But that, I, I love how that looks. It is so on brand for the for this ship. I would like a big like minigun, like a really big minigun. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, then I wanna just get some like muzzle flash. So can I get that in here? Yeah, uh-huh. Now the Normandy has this like huge tail segment, which looks awesome and I, I would love this. That's kind of cool, but that's definitely not what I intended at all. It's like these two weird long jet engines is not what I wanted. So far, the one of these two are currently in the in the front running. Probably this one. I think that merges in the best so far. This is a data runner, right? It, that's what the whole MSR sort of thing is. So do you know what we really need here? <laughs> do you know what we need? Is like a, a, like a really big USB port. The MSR is missing a USB port. How are we going to plug the data into it? Oh god, and it's even USB 2 slash 3, it's not even C. Good luck getting that in the right way round first try. Okay, and I thought maybe we could add like an extra rocket onto this wing, you know, just a little bit of extra firepower for the MSR. Okay, what about red stripes? So what if we do... There we go, we got a nice red stripe to match the top on the wing here. We got the missile. I like that. I think that looks pretty cool. I think we are finished with this MSR. So what do you think? That's the before and that's the after. I genuinely think we've actually made a little bit. It looks quite cool. I like I like it. It's, it's different, but OK, well, that's the MSR. Let's move on to the Apollo. Now, this is actually not a ship I've had much exposure to, and I've picked this screenshot from the RSI website because I think it gives us a full deflection of what we could do with this ship. Do you know what I feel like? I feel like we need to turn this into the ultimate pizza delivery vehicle. So first things first, I think we need a nice stone pizza oven somewhere on this. So let's see if we can get the orientation right. OK, so it's not quite a stone pizza oven. <laughs> OK, it's not what I was intending, but what it is is a pizza holder got a pizza on board okay. <laughs> okay i feel like maybe we could do with like a, a, some sort of pizza sign or livery i love how ai can't really do text or like or, or recognize a language that you input into it it just randomly spits out letters but what's great is it's called it's ziza and i kind of feel like that's the perfect branded name i kind of feel like we need to have something for the sides and this sunroof i mean it's great it looks beautiful worthless a hot plate we need a hot plate <laughs> there we go it's like a rotisserie chicken in the middle or like a kebab it's like a big kebab rack of fried chicken <laughs> this is this is this is terrible but i love it we've got to go for drinks we need the ultimate soda dispensing machine we're gonna go with this it's a big bottle of soda so like a big cruise canister of soda everyone holds their glass out and we can just <laughs> unleash gallons and gallons of soda or cruise onto everybody we've got to have dips so we have this that looks like cheese that one is great it's got to be that one that looks like some proper garlic and herb dip maybe we'll maybe we'll do something slightly more serious and we'll change the actual structure of the ship plane wings <gasps> chicken wings <laughs> i love how putting wings on it has maybe thought of more food that we need 
Right, there we go. We've got some wings on the side. The engine looks a bit different from where the wings have been generated. I, I think that looks pretty cool. Extra little pot of chicken wings added in here as well. <laughs> there we go. Bit of garlic bread. Just for reference, this is the before picture. And this is the after picture. As you can see, Zizas, Zizars is coming in strong. But that will do it for the Apollo. And let's move on to the last one. And the final ship for this video is the Origin 85X. It immediately, immediately, I think this thing could really do with some extra aerodynamics. That is almost seamless. I, that is really good. I'm going to keep this one. I feel like it needs some actual decent armament. I don't know what these cannons are. For, I believe they're probably size ones or twos, I imagine. So let's grab ourselves proper old World War II style nose cannons. Okay, so I have to say I love, I absolutely love the look of this one. But I wish it was like this one. This one's more World War II-esque, I would say. Like proper nose cannon style. But the fact they're bright green is quite annoying. This does look pretty meaty though. Instead of this little sort of nose cone. Like one of those big V8 engines just sticking out the top. <laughs> okay, this is quite cool. So I've got these two different intakes that I want to look at. I can't decide. I like that one. That one looks really good. Like the yellow tag on it. That one just seems a little bit more... Do you know what? Actually, it's an origin ship, right? This is more like something you'd see on Drake, like the imperfections, the wonky sort of slats that are letting the air intake in. That's a little bit more origin to me. It's a bit cleaner. It's a bit neater. It's a bit more professional. And I've also added some like landing skis. This thing looks like it's quite small and lightweight, so it could, it could bring it on down on some skis, and it's, it's designed to land on snowy terrain. I thought it'd be a good idea to add an exhaust stack as well. Okay, so I went ahead and added a little exhaust exhaust smoke coming out of this stacked exhaust that's coming out the side. And then just for good luck, I've added a little go faster stripe down the middle, you know, just because this thing looks like it could get some real speed going and it needs that go faster stripe to, to really max out the speedometer. And that is going to do us for this ship as well. Here is the before and here's the after. I think it is safe to say that I have completely and utterly butchered this one. And that brings us to the end of this video. Please don't forget to hit the like button if you've enjoyed today's video and consider subscribing to support me and catch more videos from me in the future. Lastly, make sure to leave a comment below what we have to name the ships in this video and also any other ships that you would like to see in the future. But now it's time for this month's ship giveaway. Enjoy. This month's ship giveaway is the Aurora MR starter package. All you need to do to be in with a chance of winning is the following. Subscribe to my channel with the notification bells turned on, please. Like this video and leave a comment below that contains the buzzword Give July. All one word, just like you're seeing on screen right now. This will gain you one entry. However, if you'd like more free entries, then head over to my other socials such as TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram, find the Aurora MR giveaway post, and follow the instructions on that post. Each platform is one additional entry, and all the links can be found in the description below. I will announce the winner on my first live stream in August here on YouTube. Please remember that if you are entering on YouTube, I will need a way to get in contact with yourself, so please have an email address on your YouTube channel's about section. Good luck and peace.